What's up guys, and of course, welcome to another video from your truly Desk Render. And with this, of course, Pocket Up Base, we're gonna talk about the importance of losing and why losing Wi-Fi battles or smog and base battles, uh, or shut up, obviously, uh, are important and uh, why it's a factor in this kind of environment because now this late to, of course, Generation 6, we are actually going, going about that stepping stone where... Well, let's face it, there aren't really too much left. We're basically... What is that? Do you believe four months? Didn't the next same game actually comes out? Which is incredible. That actually means that it's four months of the, you know, the players that are still around are by theory at least the best or the most dedicated. And um, these development that's gonna come in with that is that the most dedicated people were supposed to be the best. They are they are the best for for, for what is worth they're definitely the best players in Wi-Fi battle. Uh, but they're only there can only be one winner in a Wi-Fi battle and a showdown battle of course. And I feel it's important to uh, to learn this and soak you know this this knowledge that uh, that is Wi-Fi battles and that is there's always gonna be a loser. Uh, if, if we can start with that that is like awesome. But uh, in all general, like I said, the best players are definitely the ones around. And uh, I think it's important to know that losing is not a testament of that, that you are a bad player. I think it's important to know that losing a Wi-Fi battle mostly means that you have still things to learn. Um, you know, the predictions, uh, the right sets, it's ever evolving. Maybe not as much now until the next game comes out, but this, there's still stuff happening. There's still... The better superior plays and uh, i tend to joke you know that when you play low ladder you're facing shit right but at the same time when i play a new team i use that that manure uh so it's kind of to be expected or like i said there aren't really too many bad players left I'm, i do believe most of these guys are good enough at least definitely above average like i said losing is definitely a chance to get better and I think aiming towards that it's much better um, it might sound strange trying to stick like that but there are two ways of losing which one of them I feel are definitely worse than the other uh, the first way which I feel believe is the worst one is when you lose your own plays uh, you, you over predict that that is by far the worst one or you don't have the right sets uh, you basically like you had you knew what set you wanted you didn't go for it because you wanted to be more overarching and by that you actually lost that gut feeling losing to that gut feeling that hurts and then that obviously is not really I wouldn't say that much learning experience but more trust your first instinct uh, it always will pay off uh, the second one losing or way of losing is the better one and that is facing an opponent that knows what it's doing or just gets you like push you down get you in the corner uh, showing a series of plays that push you down that you will actually lose the reason why that is so much better is because you learn that th that is how you get knocked out or that is how you lost the game you can change your way to see that one coming that is by far the best series of plays you want to have against you to of course become a better player i firmly believe that it is Something is still happening. Hell, uh, most people can definitely see all my streams. If anything, you know, obviously I I rarely lose, but when I lose, I tend to lose against like a better play, and uh, I love when that happens because that is just how do you say it? It showcases that while I battle a lot, there are still ways you can defeat me on, and that is actually comfortable for me because that means that this game still got things for me. If I were to win every game, I probably would have stopped playing for that reason alone. I don't want to be the very best. I want to strive to become the very best. I believe that that search for the be becoming the best is by far more exciting than being the best. So it's a very very short pocket obvious, but it's just a very just a heartfelt feeling that I I really need to share. Like I said, there aren't too many players left right now. I think we are in the tens of thousands uh, that are like firmly active. Um, so that is not a whole lot. I mean, we have a lot of people that watch Pokemon but do not necessarily play it. 
Uh, that will definitely change with, of course, Generation 7 when that hits off. But until then, we actually need to treat our win and losses like the way it's supposed to, and that is becoming better, not blindly believe that we are the best, because had that been so, we probably would never kept playing. So with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this short pocket topics. And what are your thoughts about losing? Do you tend to be extremely salty? Uh, I can definitely say that I can become that sometime. Like I said, if I lose my own place, yeah, I'll get pretty darn pissed. But about the same time, like I said, if I lose to a better place, then that is awesome. That is so evolving. So how do you guys feel about that? So, and of course, thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.